Well, what I'd like to do is talk about nodes. And we talked about earlier about how do we transition to a bottom-up, autonomous uh, forms of organization and urbanization that are consonant with the Earth. And what we're confronted with is a series of existential threats. I don't have to elaborate on that, but we have climate change, we have extinctions of species, we have all these challenges before us. And the question is, how do we design something that's based in nature, we, from initial principles? and not have extractive technology, not have extractive ways of organizing yourself, but basically look at outcomes. How do we design around outcomes? And use generative design is a way of designing a system from the beginning to have a resilience, have zero carbon, have affordability, have equity. It's built into the system itself. It's part of how it's designed and function. This is a biological concept, very different than a mechanical concept. So when you look at what they're doing at CityScope, and the idea there, the radar map, is to identify the different kind of asset classes, and Kent talked about this earlier, how they're interdependent. Well, the question is then, how do we incentivize that? How do we really create an economic system that reinforces that and makes that by design? So this, again, is, is a, comes back to the concept of generative design. Basically, the idea, how do you create genetic algorithms? How do you have selection principles, like fitness principles, that select, reduce the cost, reduce the, and increase the performance and utilization and overall miniaturization of, of the technology? You see this what's happening in new kinds of technologies in, in uh, each sector. This is from BlackRock where you have 20 different sectors that are all subject to exponential growth. It's, ex it's deflationary. So there's real costs that can be captured if they can be internalized. So the idea here is create a, an attractor for capital to take it out of the fossil economy and put it into a sustainable economy based upon biological principles. That's the idea of a strange attractor. Can we create new kind of asset classes that accelerate the transition? Because we're at a point where this has to be done very quickly. It's 2030 is really the due date. So then again, things are being virtualized now. We can create digital twins. Machine learning can recognize things. Ob we can identify the title, the th authorization, the permissions that go with different kinds of uh, virtual representations, and we can implement our policies that way in a new way, which in turn requires a new kind of charter. Our corporate charters are very old. They're based upon shipping. So we, in the physical world, we need to do something that's relevant to the, the the, the digital world, the, the rapidly changing world. And so we have to come up with a concept of a reflexive mutual series LLC, big words. Reflexive in the sense that invests in itself. It's, a, it's not extraction capital out. It reinvests in itself. It's mutual and then it's owned by everybody in the community, in the group, and you get be mutual benefits. The other side of it is it's based upon the concept of metabolism, mitosis. So we have this idea of metabolic capital, that you have the ability of one kind of asset class building upon another, and you can use genetic algorithms to, to accelerate the change. This is, this is the new way of thinking, and to bring it back to how we're thinking about CityScope, we want to have a, a basically a currency system, Ken mentioned tokens, that reinforce the values, so allow people living in a geofence area to create value and keep a homeostasis of a, of a, a value system based upon uh, sustainability, affordability, and equity. This is the new vision. This is how these new pieces come together and create new asset classes that build equity over a period of time. So it's a new way of looking at capital and it's a way of giving power to a community, a new kind of corporate organization that we've seen before. Thank you. <laughs>